Hello fellow IT students, this is Trent Brager, online librarian and student taking courses in IT, web development, software development, databases, and networking. If you're taking any classes in these program areas, then this video is for you. I'll show you our guides to the library's resources purchased for you and some other external resources that are freely available to you. The goal of this video is to help you find the books, websites, or articles you need to complete research papers or projects. So let's get into it. From the Canvas Connect login page, click the Library Connect link to get to our site. If you want to get right into searching, you can use the main search box. If the Discover Discovery tab is highlighted, you will find mostly magazine and journal articles, though there are some ebooks that show up there as well. If you click to highlight the catalog tab, then you are searching for books, ebooks, and CDs, DVDs as well. Don't skip over this because you think you need to read an entire book either. Often you can find a useful chapter on your topic if you're writing a research paper. Okay, the most useful place for you to go on our site will be our guides. We have them specifically for the different degrees you may be seeking got one for IT, one for software development, and one for game and app development. I'll start with the IT guide. Just click on Guides from the main navigation, then use the drop-down menu in the middle of the page, and you'll see all the topics we have guides for. Like I said, I'll go with IT. On the guide, you'll find a ton of great resources. A quick warning. I'm currently editing these guides so they might look a little bit different when you're watching this. So we've got the main search boxes again at the top of the guide. Then we've got recommended databases for IT. These are where you'll find articles. I think Faultner Fates, F-A-I-T-S, is a great database. You can look up just about any aspect of IT and there will probably be a report that they've written about it. They keep most of their stuff pretty up to date as well. If you're looking for journal or magazine articles, Computers and Applied Science is Complete, or Computer Database will be where you want to go. These are more specific to IT than the Discovery Search I told you about before. Discovery searches a bunch of databases at once, and a lot of these databases won't be that useful for IT topics. Moving on, we've got some magazines that might be at your campus library, or they might be available through Zinio, an e-magazine service. Following the link will tell you all about Zinio and how you can get the latest issues of these magazines on your tablet. Here are a few books and e-books that are in our collection. I thought these were interesting. You can hover over the title for more information. I also made a few app suggestions that could be useful for you along with links to professional association websites and other handy sites to know about. I'm going to jump back to the guides page and select the software app development guide. There are a couple of cool resources that deserve a mention. I want to point out this awesome issue of Bloomberg Business Week that's all about coding. You can find it in Zinio. You just need to look in the back issues for June 15th, 2015. I also found a pretty cool article about what it's really like to work for an app startup. Lynda.com will also give you a lot of useful tutorials when focusing on the software side. Lastly, I want to jump to the game and app development guide. So more of the same idea here. Database, app, book, and website suggestions. I'll finish up by telling you that if you ever need help doing research, you can jump to some of our other helpful guides, or you can ask a librarian. You can stop into your campus library or online, you can find your librarian's email address and phone number by selecting your campus from the drop down. Clicking on the Ask a Librarian tab, you can see some of our FAQs or use our question form. If the chat button is ever green, click it and you will start an IM session with the librarian. 
or you can text a question to the number provided. Hope this helps. Take care.